Crow is not just playing host today, he's playing Air Chief Marshal, setting out a battle plan and ordering his squadrons to attack the challenge that's flying in from France. His squadrons in this case are the guys from Jack Pike, and the evil invaders are pigeons, both homebred and recently migrated from France, that are threatening to devastate crops in this part of the southeast of England. Crow believes this could be the biggest day of the year, so has brought along reinforcements. It's a coordinated effort. With the guys set up over four fields, the plan is executed by radio, so everyone can start shooting at the same time. As you can see, we've got a lot of flat corn. We've got about 70 acres of wheat that's gone flat, and it is flat. It's, it's places it's worse than others. Uh, I've got young Brody down today. He likes to come down and have a bit of a bang up when he was free today. He's got no play shooting on tomorrow, so he's come down for the day. It's always good fun to have him in the hive with me, he's a good laugh. Um, he tries to teach me how to shoot, but it don't always work. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot feeding here. We just have to see how it goes. Just gonna start off with a few silla socks out here and maybe set out a whirly. Um, these work, it's quite breezy today, so these will work quite well. So just gonna stick a few of these out, a few full bodies, and, and uh, hope to get a couple of bit quick for the whirly and uh, see if that will uh, uh, bring them in. It's just a case of trial and error today. They haven't been shot at. Um, too much, so they're not tame, but they haven't seen the whirlies, they haven't seen the flappers for a few weeks, so it's all new to them and they, they tend to decoy a bit better this time of year. The chance of a bumper bag is not the only thing floating Crow's flying boat. He is using new cartridges featuring a familiar face on the box. We used them last weekend, uh, they performed really well. I was really impressed with the way they went. Shot some really nice, nice long stuff. Uh, they're a lot smoother, they're a far. A, a faster and smoother cartridge than the, the old clear pigeon, plus they're in a white case, uh, which is, makes them a lot easier to find. I'm quite looking forward to using them again, I, I enjoyed using them last week, so we'll see how we get on today. Well, they were awesome cartridges to be fair, really good. This one is going to be a busy hide with Crow, Brody Willard, Brody's dad Dave, Rosa the Labrador and the man with the camera. To make sure we are all well hidden, Crow is taking advantage of local vegetation. As you can see, Hide it doesn't really blend in, it looks out of place. It's always covered as hide with as much natural as you can. So, um, but yeah, we're just building it up. Um, one good way of doing it so it don't fall down when it grounds hard, you get a string that goes over the top of the net that holds the net up. Just get hold of that, go round the branch like that, and back over the top of the hide pole, and then it ain't going to fall down. With everything in place, Andy gives the much anticipated go ahead on the radio. Yeah, we're ready to go now. So went. The day is already going well, and Crow wants to keep it that way. He changes the pattern of the decoys to keep the pigeons interested. Just sticking the rotary out for a bit of movement. There we go. We've had two come, two come straight in nicely. So we killed his, I killed mine, so that's quite nice. If it's coming like that all day, we should be in for a good bag. Today is a day for firsts, and the day's shooting also sees Andy use the new HD shot cam for the first time. Can't wait to see what it it turns out like on the, with the footage, but yeah. Still half a ton hanging on the end of your barrel, which is quite nice. It really balances the old gun, you know what I mean? I paid all that money to get a well balanced gun, get it all set up, and then you put three and a half ton of camera on the end of it. The flight lines change throughout the day, but Crow was confident the birds will come in high numbers around the hide and onto the decoys, and he is right to be confident. Three come in and I dealt Brody out and that's the first. You don't have to usually have to help him out. He don't usually leave anything for me, but he had a miss. Whoop whoop, thank I wiped his eye. Numbers of pigeons start to fall off compared to earlier in the day, and Andy thinks he knows why. The pigeons have been doing a flight line down on their left and going down through that way. There's another little couple of little tiny patches, oh, only like five, ten yards square. So Dave 
Brody's dad has gone down there on the buggy to have a look. He's probably put up five, six hundred pigeons plus, and uh, one of the pigeons that he stirred up. There you go. There you go. And that's early part of the day, so like I say, we've got a few more hours yet. It's only two o'clock, and so it's quite nice. We're I think we'd be on for what I was hoping for. I was hoping for one and a half, 150, and we're well on track for that at the moment. Pigeons are flying around twice because they haven't been shot at. They are so keen to feed, they just keep coming. I've just had one come in the decoys, or come round the decoys flying past. And as that come past, I've shot that. And his mate has gone 60, 70 yards out, the other side of the decoys, flown back past at about 35, 40 yards. To not bothered by the shot, and I've nailed it. So here comes another one in. Okay. The birds keep it up all afternoon and keep all four fields of shooters busy. Andy and Brody finish with 338 in the bag. That makes a collective bag of around 550 pigeons with the other group's bags added in. It's gone really well. Uh, me and Brody shot really well together. We always do. And we've been dropping them in the flat. No problem at all, but anything that goes in standing, we stop shooting, I'll go straight out with a dog. She's worked, uh, I can't fault her today. She's worked really, really well, um, really well. We haven't lost anything in the standing, which is brilliant. Um, but no, we've, we've had a great day. All, well, all of us have, it's been, it's been brilliant. The great growing season for crops in the south of England means a superb breeding season for pests like pigeons. This won't be the last bumper day on this farm in 2017.